I, I think the issue for a lot of people is some have, I think, that the forms and the techniques, they're sort of connected. But there's the forms are only there and then the techniques seem to be part of the form and then something altogether different. They're not. Everything you do in your techniques has to be exactly the form. Exactly. They're not anything added at all. So when you're doing this turning, if you've done chunk here, this is not forcing the upper torso and using here. This is your cylinder power structure turning and maintaining that relaxed forward projection and controlling the centre line to the turn. So you're actually using your body to create the turning force, which is much stronger than anything you can do with your shoulder and your other And that's really important. I'll use this hand. It's really important if something heavy is coming in. Because if you're trying to do this, two things are going to possibly happen. You're going to miss, or it's going to be so damn heavy, you'll connect wrong, and it's going to crush you and tear your shoulder, and you'll get hit at the same time. But if you just meet it and let the force rest on your centre, when you turn, there's no stress on your body. Because what might happen is when you make contact, you realise you don't have to turn that way. Your body tells you you have to turn this way. But if I'm preempting it and using my upper torso and he's going sideways, I'm going to get hit. Does that make sense to people? If you ever watch us doing Chun Q, we never force the issue. It's like it's always very gentle. It's a structured hand. Look at my hand, it's not tight. Anything I do, hand is relaxed. Hand comes into me, relaxed. Hand comes into me, relaxed. Okay? The idea is that your hands have structure in them, but they're supported by the body. And the body turning and the body stepping gives you that additional force and momentum that he can't do with.